Yo, what's up everybody? Today, we're going to be covering the Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 66 spoilers. So, pretty much, the Earth is one with Moro at this point. Um, the uh, translations have already come out. I'm ac I've, I've read them, so I know what I'm talking about. And um, I'm pretty much just going to tell you what the fuck's happening in my own language. I don't just want to read it off that page like literally every YouTuber does, because that's kind of boring. Anyway, so... Uh, yeah, pretty much Planet Eater Moro has absorbed the planet and uh, he's actually become one with the planet and he basically now is effortlessly absorbing all of the energy from everyone who is on top of the planet pretty much, who is on the planet. Their energy is just automatically getting absorbed and um, people notice this and uh, Vegeta curses saying Kakarot must have failed again. I mean, he pretty much did so far, but anyway. Across the world, the Earth and its inhabitants are being robbed of their energy, pretty much. You know, every it's like a reverse spirit bomb. It's like a reverse spirit bomb, pretty much. It's instead of going into the you know big spirit bomb, it's just going into Moro's power. And um, Moro pretty much laughs and says, "All oh, this, you know, Earth's energy is his." Blah blah. Beerus and Whis are pretty much being called in by the Grand Priest to um, actually come and answer for what the fuck happened to Mirus. Um, this is pretty funny. Beerus is very agitated. He's mad at everyone and he's just like, all right, we're gonna, me and Whis, we're gonna sort this out first. So they pretty much leave. But before that happens, we, you know, have uh, Whis pretty much showing us his epic awesome power by just stopping Moro's punches with one finger, proving that the angels are completely in a different league. And Goku Ultra Instinct is actually, you know, using his entire body, which Again, I just kind of find this stupid because, I mean, let's keep it honest, like, isn't Ultra Instinct Goku supposed to be, like, universe level, like, at least universal? You know, he's so absurdly strong, and then, you know, just because an enemy is, I guess, bigger, it's like, oh, it's more of a challenge, but it really shouldn't be. Like, at this point, these characters, if they're implied to be as strong as they are, they should just literally fucking blink at the earth and it would just pop it would just destroy if they're universal um yeah that's pretty much what should kind of be but you know that's the problem with dragon ball super their power scaling has gotten so out of control and it's so ridiculously more powerful than dragon ball z it just loses all sense of reality it just doesn't make much sense anymore so yeah with that said um we can clearly see that you know moro has kind of been completely you know, engulfed in this new form, you know, of his, where he's just one with the Earth. I do like his design here, but, you know, I, you know how I feel about Moro's 7-3 design and his look. I just find it extremely Cell Saga-ish, everything that's happening, you know, it's kind of a rehash of everything we've already seen before, and, you know, this is nothing new that I'm saying, but I'm just looking forward to how this manga chapter will conclude, will end the Moro arc, because it is, it is just ended in a complete mess, you know? And um, in the final manga panel, we can see Vegeta pretty much coming, um, you know, rushing in to uh, help Goku and just kind of, um, you know, pretty much do an attack or something. I think Vegeta is going to try and do the Force Spirit Fission. I mean, that seems logical. Um, you know, I think if, Go if, if Master Ultra Instinct Goku doesn't at least get the W here, I kind of find it stupid like, even worse for the form, you know, because then it's pretty much failed two times in a row. So, that's really bad, especially for a form like Ultra Instinct, which isn't supposed to be matched, pretty much. It's not supposed to be matched. Um, then it's kind of failed twice. Yeah, it did beat Jiren, but it didn't really beat Jiren. You know what I mean? It didn't beat Jiren. It, it ran out, and that's it. So, you know, Ultra Instinct should get a solid win. It should, 100%. And um, I think Vegeta is going to play a key role in defeating Moro. In my opinion, the Moro arc should have just concluded with Vegeta versus Moro. And just have Vegeta murder him in cold blood. Because M Moro is like a really sick dude. Like, Moro is really, really bad. Like, he's a bad guy. It he's not even like Cell. Like, Cell was less evil than Moro. Because Cell didn't really have that much malicious intent. Now, yeah, he was a dick. He was an asshole. He wasn't a nice guy. He was evil, still. But um, his focus was more so on being the strongest, most perfect being. It was kind of more of an egocentric thing. It wasn't as malicious as Moro, where he really seeks out others to kind of drain their power and take it for themselves. It's also a form of being very egoic and very egoistic but and very egotistical, but... 
yeah, you know, um, Moro is just absolute scum, and he's been around for millions of years, and he's still evil, so, yeah, that's why I think Vegeta is just, I'm gonna actually probably make a video on that, on why, on how I would have liked the Moro arc to conclude, like, the perfect ending, um, I'm gonna try and make that, like, a, maybe a little bit cinematic and stuff, but that's for another video, um, as far as I'm concerned, you know, these are just, you know, minor spoiler. We can see that, you know, pretty much Goku fucked up big time. Uh, every, everything is getting drained. The whole earth is in danger. Moro is shooting appendages from everywhere. Like, he's having hands from, you know, just spawning out of the ground. You know, it's, it's different. It's cool because it's different. But I would have not... I just, like, I know, I, you know, he shouldn't get hung up over one thing, which was the Sensu, but... If pretty much the, like, if you're, let's just say you're watching a movie, right? A movie is great, it's an amazing movie, and then suddenly it just, like, everything that's leading up to that final moment, the character just pretty much, let's just take Star Wars, for example. Star Wars, right? Luke Skywalker, uh, Luke, Luke Skywalker versus Darth Vader, I, I, okay, so, we got fucking Luke Skywalker versus Darth Vader. Let's just say, in the end of the movie, Luke Skywalker is like, well, Darth Vader, here, have my lightsaber. Like, that, that's kind of the same thing that Goku did with giving uh, Moro the Senzu. It's just, it's so stupid. Like, it's so dumb. It's just, it caused all this mess to happen. And it's just constantly Goku getting away with these stupid, uh, irrational decisions. And it just doesn't make sense anymore. And it really just, ugh, I don't fucking like it. And it just really ruined the arc for me. Especially, like, Majin Buu was supposed to come. I don't know what the what the deal is with that, you know, uh, Jocko um, or the other side of the Galactic Patrol were coming with Majin Buu, so maybe something like that was going to happen, but apparently not, I don't know, we will see, I doubt it, I don't think so, I think that might happen, just so Toyotaro will uh, surprise us there, but uh, yeah, these are kind of the manga spoilers, you know, just these, these images, these uh, pictures, and pretty much the explanation that I gave you, uh, which uh, was uh, happening within them, so... That's kind of it. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let's have a discussion about this and uh, the possible ways you would like to see this end. But all in all, I'm extremely disappointed with this arc. It's just typical Dragon Ball Super. They just start off with a, with a fucking dope idea and then just completely ruin it near the end. Um, in the most unsatisfactory manners. Like, ugh, sick of that shit, you know? So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and have a fucking good day.